Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing Here and No Little Mischief. I bought the full case of this when it launched in August and I was so excited to open it. As you can see, things didn't really turn out how I expected and in the mail, I got this absolutely crushed package, but hopefully no figures are broken. We're gonna have a look and see. The artist behind this character is Lang and I love Lang's work. And don't you just love the packaging for Little Mischief? It has a newspaper theme and this one definitely is a newspaper that's been all cut up. I really love this style. The packaging is just so cool. I'm so sad at how crushed a lot of my boxes are. This is definitely a series where I would have kept the packaging, but we still can appreciate how cool the design is that Lang did for all of the packaging. And if we have a look at this side, we can see the 12 options for Little Mischief. So the first one we have is Loose Fish, then we have Manacle, followed by the Aviator, and our second row is going to be Protector, Persona, and Robot. And then we have Birdman, Destroyer, and Rage Picker, which is a really interesting name. And our last three are going to be Boiling Frog, Float, and Pretender. And of course, we have the Secret Edition, which is Hirano on this cute boat on top of water. And it is actually called Hirano Little Mischief, so it's named after the series. I'm going to put up a picture of not only the Secret Edition, in case we don't get it in today's video, but another picture of all of the characters, because I know on the packaging it's drawn, and it's really hard to see what the options are. We're going to see them all in this video, but just so you can get an idea of how they look. And I already know which ones I'm super interested in. I love Birdman and Manacle. Oh, and Float is really cute too. I mean, I love all of them. I definitely got the full series for a reason, but those I think are going to be my top favorites. And I think I'm just going to pick them out at random. So let's grab one from the middle. I think this is my most crushed box out of them all. It is really damaged, <laughs> as you can see. So hopefully we don't have anything damaged inside. Oh, and this one was hard to pull out. It definitely is a very squished. Oh, and the bag for this series is really, really cool. It says here now on it. And then it says, there's always something you will not cherish until you lose it. Designed by Lang. That is really cool. And it says the same thing on the other side. So let's open it up and see who the first character is. I think this is the pretender one. Let's see. Oh no, it's the one with the balloon. Oh, this one is pretty creepy in my books. And this one definitely reminds me of it, which is why it comes off a bit creepy. It's not a super scary movie, but it definitely has made clowns seem a lot more menacing. I do love this figure, and if you didn't know, there was a special limited blister pack where this was all grayscale, and it was beautiful. I really loved that blister pack. I tried to pick it up, but I missed out. And this figure, if you didn't notice, has two left feet or something. The feet are going in opposite directions and different sizes. It's really strange. I really love the details for this one. I think the best thing about it is definitely the balloon dangling so gently with this little itty bitty string. This is just a really well designed figure and it's hard to see on this figure but you will notice that Hira now has glass eyes and it's really cool. It adds so much emotion and depth to the figure. I'm a really big fan of this one and it is called Persona. And the card on the back has the same thing that was on the bag. And hopefully we don't get too many bent cards, but I have a feeling we will. Our first one was awesome. I'm really excited to see who we get for our next one. And I picked another really damaged packaging. We didn't have anything broken with the first one. So hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of this series. And who do we have in this one? One, two, three. 
Oh, it's the cute airplane one. And this one definitely isn't one of my favorites. It's still such a cool figure though. I do love how Hirno has a full old school style plane. It's really cool. And does this propeller move? Oh my gosh, it totally does. That's really neat. I really love the fact that this is interactive. And does the one on the top of the head move? No, it doesn't look like the one on the top of the head moves at all. It is stationary. It kind of looks like a watermelon, the hat. And this one has really cool colors. I definitely enjoy the colors for this one. If you didn't notice, Hirano has these almost red eyes. They look really angry and really menacing being red. I think our It character one had reddish eyes as well. It's kind of hard to tell. They're definitely a reddy brown. And I do love how freckly Hirano is. And this one is called the Aviator. And let's go ahead and grab one from the back row and see who we get for our third box. So for our third box, it's really skinny. So let's see, one, two, three. This one definitely looks like a very mischievous here and now with that slingshot. So we have here now on this stand now. Let's have a look at this really awesome figure. So Hirano is wearing a box on top of the head, and we have some drawings on it and some other designs on it as well. And it looks realistic. It's really interesting. And the stand is really cool too. So the stand looks like a shattered glass window, which I think is such a nice touch, especially because this Hirano has a slingshot in its hand, so it's definitely the one that broke the window. I don't know if you ever played with slingshots as a kid, but that was always the biggest worry was shattering a window. I definitely had a slingshot as a kid, so I can definitely see myself in this Hirano. And this Hirano is called Destroyer. Let's go ahead and grab our fourth one. And let's see who I have for this one. So far, when I've been trying to guess who is inside, I haven't been doing a great job, but let's see. I think this could be the bird one. One, two, three. Oh, this is the one that has a bear on the shoulders with its arms covering the eyes and the face of the Hirano and seems to be protecting the Hirano from seeing something, which is really interesting. I definitely think the meaning behind these figures can be applied to specific situations that happened when you were a kid or just really up for interpretation. And this Hirano in the oversized sweater with slippers looks like it maybe woke up in the middle of the night and its leather style teddy bear is trying to protect it. I think these figures are really neat and the coloring and shading and just design of them is really remarkable. And here is the card for protector. And who are we going to get for our next four? No secret edition yet. You never know if you're going to get one, so it's always fun to hope. And I think I know who this one is. It's the one in the bucket. One, two, three. And this here now sitting in the bucket bath has a little ghost on top of it. I think this is going to make such a perfect one to go with the ghost one from the first series. And this rusty bucket is really cool. The handle of the bucket even moves, which I think is really neat. And it's all bent out of shape. I just love how much detail is put into these uh, figures. And I love this one. We even have clear vinyl for the bath water. And this little ghost on top, even though it looks really concerned, it is super cute. And this is here now, Boiling Frog. And who are we going to get out of our sixth one today? And here we go. We have... Oh, this is the Hirano that has the fish bag over its head. Oh, this one looks so cool in person. So here we have the Hirano with the fishing net and we have the fish that fell out of the bag inside of it. We can just see the tail, and if you have a look at the back of the Hirano, you can see the hole that's in the fish bag. Oh, this one is really cool. I think my favorite detail is definitely the fish bag over the head. I really love the texture of it and everything about it, like the little knot at the top, is just really well done. And this Hirano is wearing a pretty typical fishing outfit, I would think. 
Oh, and one thing I just noticed is I think every Hirano in this city has red hair so far. We definitely have a few that don't have red hair, but I can't remember for the first series if the majority of them had red hair or not. And this Hirano is called Loose Fish. And we managed to get two water ones right after each other. So it would be interesting if our next box has a water one inside of it. This one is really light and very beat up. I'm so curious to see who we have inside of this one. I think it is the water one just because of how small it looks. One, two, three. Oh, we ended up getting the bird one. Oh, this one is beautiful. And it does look like we have a stand for this one as well, so let's set it up. So we have our beautiful Birdman Hirano on its gray cloud stand. I do think the stand looks really cool. I'm not a huge fan of figures with stands, but I think these ones are so well done. And I just love the beak and what this Birdman is wearing. And it has its arms up, like it's pretending to be a bird and flying. I really love this. And the beak on the face too is just really cool. I especially love it because it has pink hair, but all of the elements are just really awesome. I think this one is just really amazing. And this one is definitely my favorite one. I love Hirana with the pink hair. This one is just so cool. And here's the card for Birdman. So we're almost done our first row. Let's grab our eighth box and see who we have inside. And this is a pretty wide figure, so I think this might be the one that's in the water. Let's see. Oh no, it's the dinosaur one. Oh, this one looks so cool. This here now is wearing a T-Rex costume and then has a T-Rex on the top of its head. It looks so cute. I really love the position of this, how the Hirano is sitting down with its hands behind its back like this. I think this is just a really cute position, and it's nice to see that we have some Hiranos that are sitting down and not all standing. It means when you're displaying this whole series together that you're going to have some nice, fun, varying heights, and a bit of diversity among characters. I really like it. I mean, all of these are already so different from each other, but even just all of them having different poses just makes it such a nice series. And I really love the color of green for this one. This is a super cute here now. And our dinosaur here now is called Pretender. But let's have a look at our ninth box and see who we're missing still. So we have all of the first row except for Manacle, and we're missing half of the second row. We're missing Robot and Rag Picker, and we almost have all of the last row as well except for Float, and of course, no secret edition so far. Will I end up getting it? Alright, let's go ahead and see who is in our ninth box. And this one definitely has an accessory that was trying to get out. But let's see who it is. One, two, three. Oh, this is Manacle. Oh, I love this one with its white hair. Oh, it's not an accessory. So for this one, we have another little stand. And it actually looks like the booking card for this here and now that's in jail. And I love this loose Manacle that is just dangling about. It even has a bit of weight on the end, which is really neat. I love this one because of the white hair. I'm curious if the expression on the face is supposed to look beat up. It kind of looks like Hirano is sleepy. I do love the expression for this one. I think this one is really cool. And there is a really amazing photographer on Instagram who I follow who's taken a beautiful picture of this one. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. But they do amazing here and no photos. They're just beautiful. And this one, of course, looked like it was in a prison. And here is the card for Manacle. And let's go ahead and pick out our 10th box. And this one, I think, is the most damaged. It's pretty ridiculous, but nothing broken so far, so I think we're going to be fine. And my guess for this one is the one that is coming out of the water. One, two, three. Yeah, I knew it. It was just so small. Oh, and this one has another little dinosaur on the top. And this one is literally just the head of Hirano coming out of the water inside of a pool float. 
So all we have is the head and the arms that are peeking out. I think a lot of people weren't a fan of this one. I don't know if it's the least popular, but I did see that a lot of people weren't really into it. I guess because it feels like you're missing half a figure, but I really love the illusion of this one. And obviously there's no other way to depict Hirano underneath the water. I do think the dinosaur on the head though is a really nice touch and really fun. This is actually one of my favorites. Not only does Hirano have this beautiful teal hair, but I think this one is really fun. And if you were to get the secret edition where it's a boat, I think these two would look so cool beside each other. I mean, this one is just super fun. Let me know though, would you be disappointed if you ended up getting this on a blind box compared to another one? Just because of maybe the size difference? Or would you still be excited? And here's the card for Float. So only two more boxes left and two more chances at a secret edition. Who am I going to get? I think this might be the biggest one we've gotten so far. Let's see. And of course, it's the robot one. Definitely the robot one is going to be the biggest for this series. And did you ever do this as a kid? I know I sure did. I've even done it with my nephew. It's really fun to make yourself a robot out of boxes. Although I definitely haven't went to this much detail and this well done, this one is really intricate and cool. There's just so much details and I think any kid would have been really excited to have a robot costume made for them like this. This is so well done. It even has rockets in the back and says, I'm not a toy. And again, this is another one that is just really realistic and just really cool. I just love the details behind all of these here and now characters. Here's the card for Robot, and this is definitely my favorite card so far. And we only have one more box left. Does this contain the secret edition? Or are we going to get the last missing one from the regular series? Which is going to be the Rag Picker. Let's see, I actually think that one is really neat, so I wouldn't be sad to get it, but I would love the secret edition. It's always so hard to get though, so we probably aren't going to get it, but let's see. I definitely don't think this is the right size for the secret. One, two, three. Yeah, we got Rag Picker. And this here now looks like it has a plastic bag on the top of its head. I think it's supposed to be 7-Eleven, even though it says H-Mart. I can't remember if H-Mart is a convenience store. And this one is also wearing a suit, or it looks like a suit to me, made out of newspaper. This one definitely goes the best with the box. It's really neat. And the bag looks so realistic, like this is so well done. It totally looks like a real plastic bag over the head of Hirano. I think this is one of the coolest figures out of the whole series. I definitely really like this one and I'm glad we got it. No secret edition for this video, but this was a great one to end on. And here's a look at the full collection of Hirano Little Mischief. I really love how all of the cards had a different design to them and are telling a story of their own. I think they're really well done and I love the drawing style. I'm so happy I picked up this full series and I ended up not getting anything broken, which which is amazing. And I'm definitely still trying to get more Hirano from Series 1. I don't think I'll ever have the full series for Series 1, but I definitely feel like I missed out. This is such an amazing series. I'm so excited to hear down below what your favorite of today's video was. And if you're a big fan of Hirano from Lang and Popmart, or if you're not into the art style, for myself personally, I love the art style. I think it's incredible. And I know Lang has done exhibits before. I think it would be so fun to check them out in person. I really love the glass eyes that this series uses, and I can't say enough good things. And maybe I'll do some really cool photos with this series. Who knows? Definitely check out my Instagram if you want to see some toy photography. Hopefully I'll take some really cool shots of this one. 
And if you like this unboxing, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really helps me out. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another video.